Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Mr. Uncanny. I post daily uncanny and mystery videos. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss any creepy content like this anyways. So apparently you guys are here because you don't know the mystery behind this person. He is a transgender, and his name is Christopher Carey, 23-year-old from Hastings, Nebraska, and he has been exposed as an alleged online sexual predator by Turning Point USA. Frontline's reporter Kaylin Dell Media, whose team conducted a sting operation on Carey which occurred over the course of six months, Carey believed he was communicating online with a 12-year-old girl named Allie from Lincoln, Nebraska, in which he had allegedly discussed his intentions to have the minor, his penis, cuddling, and making out. Carey also requested that the minor travel to a remote location to spend time alone together, according to Tusa Frontlines. In addition, the trans-identified predator allegedly asked the minor girl to purchase him thousands of dollars worth of bikinis, dresses, high heels, perfume, makeup, and Victoria's secret lingerie for him to wear. Video footage of the bust shows Del Media confronting Carrie inside a Walmart store before he takes off running and crashes his vehicle into an elderly couple's car. Oh my god, I'm just trying to have fun here, Carrie said to Del Media upon first being questioned about Allie. I'm not going to jail. I hope not, Carrie said. Del Media questioned Carrie on why he was communicating online with the minor, but Carrie falsely claimed that he ceased communications with Ellie after finding out her age. However, the evidence presented by Tusa Frontlines shows that the prior evening leading up to the confrontation, Carrie had exchanged a series of voice messages with Ali, which included discussing his being too big for a condom, the pullout method, and going to a dark place to make out and do other unspecified activities with the minor. After Del Media shared the evidence with Carrie, the trans-identified predator took off running and fled the store while yelling racial slurs. Leave me alone, Carrie yelled, while the Tusa Frontlines crew had him surrounded in the parking lot. Carrie entered his vehicle and recklessly fled the scene after crashing his car into an elderly couple's truck. The Frontlines crew was able to confront Christopher Carey for a second time after meeting up with him at a local Subway sandwich shop. During this encounter, Del Media confronted Carey about his comments to the minor in which he had stated that Allie would have to keep their relationship a secret until she was 19 years old. Evidence shows Carey had admitted to Del Media that he should have blocked her before police officers with the Hastings Police Department arrived at the location. In a statement sent to the Post Millennial, Del Media said, I'd just like to say that the reason we're doing this is because we believe in doing our part to protect children in our communities. There is no shortage of agendas and people who seek to harm children. And this is how we're fighting back. According to Del Media, officers did not take Carrie into custody and only cited him for the hit and run that occurred in the Walmart parking lot at the prior location bust. The Hastings Police Department asked the Tusa Frontlines crew to submit their evidence to the department for review. What is your opinion on this? Comment below. Thanks for watching the video. For more uncanny incidents like this, subscribe to my channel and check out my Instagram accounts for dark humor and more such content like this.